You've been charged for staying dedicated to the grind. You have the right to remain silent and keep the hustle to yourself or help others with the game. So Straight Million came about. Um, it came about when I was actually uh, working with a, a marketing agency. And then um, around this time, I actually, you know, knew you, Grind Face TV. And then um, you was very inspiring, told me a lot of things that I, I should do. I was very young at that time. Um, I didn't know a lot. I think I was more, um, I was smart, but naive. I was uh, a lot of things, you know. So being around, you know, the brand Grind Face TV while we own it, you know, ironic. <laughs> uh, it's one of those things like I came up with Straight Million because it was it was what I always seen. I always seen, you know, you going at it. And I'm like, yo, this dude's going to get straight million. But, like, he's going to get to it. And then I was just like, yo, I want to come up with something like that. Like, how do you tell people how to get to the money? You know what I mean? What is what I – like, how do we keep it straight? Straight million. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of came up with me just being amped on that. Like, yo, I'm going to get there. I'm going to get a straight million. And then, yeah, it's kind of how it went. I just wanted – I want to influence others. Um, I know, I think I see my life. So I know uh, straight million is going to end up being something that I end up um, using later in life to to help others. You know what I mean? So that's pretty much what it is. A lot of things that I've learned in my entrepreneur growth is uh, I've started naming things straight to the point. You know what I mean? Like campus tainment, straight million, things like that. So it's, it came up being influenced and, and being motivated. Yeah, I've seen this documentary floating around, Still Our Rise of you, man. It looked pretty interesting. What came about that? Still Our Rise. Um, Still Our Rise came around because um, i seen how the people I looked up to really did look down on me, you know? And you sometimes when you're around people bigger than you, you got to be careful. You got to be strong, you know? Because if you're not strong, the things that they say when they get mad can really put you down and put you in a place where you feel like, man, are they right? They successful, it, you know? So I think uh, Still I Rise came once um, I was at the company I was at. I decided to leave uh, for my own reasons. And then I, I knew I was still going to rise, you know, like Maya Angelou. You know what I mean? I knew I still had it. I knew that it was up to me. And I knew that they want to see me go down. Or maybe not even see me go down, but can care less. You know, so still I rise. You know, no matter what I go through, even you, yourself, um, anybody, everybody watching is you, 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 everybody. You know what I'm saying? Still you rise. Like, still I rise. No matter what you go through, no matter what I've been through, I'm still going to fucking rise. Grind face. <laughs>